Fleeing the Empire's troops, Ben and Edgar and Terra ride the rapids to Norsh. But the going won't be easy. Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here and we're off for more Final Fantasy VI. It's been a while once again because of the end of my final Wi-Fi matches. The end of DSM Wii Wi-Fi internet support has ended. And, well, the reason why I haven't been uploading for a while is because I really wanted episode 2 of Pokemon up to be up. And I don't even know how long it's going to take, so I'm kind of pre-recording this because I got bored of waiting. But anyway... Joining back from when we, f well, as tried to go on the raft and we split up with Sabin, we're apparently still continuing that trek right from when Sabin, well, landed in the river. And we've got probably one to two uh, random encounters before we actually get out of here. And I should really heal Bannon right now because he's taking a beat in, so if I could cycle back to him really quickly, that would be really nice. Health! So we're already starting with a random battle, it's typical really. And you've got two more random battles before you're even out of the woods, it's crazy. Funny how that we had to do like a couple of battles just to get here. You've got owned FTW, let's just get out of here with our shades. So yeah, the reason why that um, this video is quite late, including the week break because or so, because you know, I wanted... Because I made an update of Pokemon MMO, um, and, you know, wanted Episode 2 to be out, I really wanted Episode 2 to be out before continuing with any of my other series after the final Wi-Fi match is finished. But enough about Pokemon MMO, because I've been hassling Kieran too much to actually upload Episode 2, because it took that long just to get it up. Some, some stuff's come up, it's coming to the end of the college again, it's kind of one of those things. Just like at the beginning of Twilight Princess, funnily enough. But anyway, enough about that. We're finally out of the woods, and you can, you know, actually have a chance to equip your stuff here, which I'm actually going to do. And we're all got shades, which actually doesn't really matter, because like I said, with any other version other than the GBA and iOS versions, there's a, there's a recursive error in the game that stops, um, that stops blind from working. It's kind of weird. Uh, I would like the Magus hat, and I would like the, hmm, Silk Robe. Next character, I would like the Mithril Pike, I got that for a reason. Well, extra powerful there. Uh, don't need any hats, we'll give them Iron Armor, and obviously we can't do anything with Bannon. I don't think there's any other relics we need to give. Let me have a quick look here. Hmm. Let me have a look here. I should have given Black Belt to Sabin. What am I up to? What am I doing? I'll have to give it to him later. Protects... Well, I've already got a True Knight, I guess. Uh, I think I am good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, that'll do. So, yeah, we've got to head to Nash because that's pretty much what we got to do. But before we go to Nash, I want to show off a glitch. Everyone show this glitch off, but I want to show it as well because, you know, it'll just be... It, it, it won't be right if I continued without showing this glitch. But what I need to do is get through this random encounter. Let's see how long this battle takes. That was easy. And ba what? A experience and Bannon gained a level? Are you serious? Wow, I just did that for a joke and Bannon actually gained a level from that. That is pathetic. Anyway. <laughs> My god. Joke level up much. Considering he's a temporary party member, it's not really that helpful. Anyway, what we gotta do is actually put Bannon up front. Strange as it sounds, that's what we gotta do. Because otherwise this glitch ain't gonna work. So once he's up front, we need to find a hidden chocobo stable, which I believe is not in this grass, but or this forest, but it's in a forest down below the desert. So just keep on heading down here because you know random encounters are a bit of a bitch sometimes, like that. Wow, the screen went completely white there. And when you make it to this chocobo stable, you obviously need money. Now, I'm just trying to remember on where this stable is. It's not at the south, it's to the uh, west. Excuse me. Oh, come on, I thought that was it. Let me guess, I was two steps away. One, two, no? Oh, okay, it was right in front of me, never mind. It was one step away from me. As soon as I'm out of here, transition again to a random encounter. Things never change, do they? Absolutely typical, anyway. Nothing in the pot, as per usual. 
100 GP, so one battle should be enough, and guess what? He has front and back sprites, and it's Terror. I did not choose Terror. Why is it showing Terror? Why is it showing Terror? I didn't have Terror at the front of my party. Get off the chocobo. Maybe it can't be done in the PlayStation version? Planets up front. Okay, maybe it's only in the Super Nintendo and Wii Virtual Console version? Because... Okay, I don't even know how I'm going to explain this. Basically, you can just search up on some other things. I'm not going to like get an emulator and play up to this point just to show it off. Apparently, if you, you, if you play as Bannon and he's the front of your team and you get on a chocobo, obviously the up and down spikes will be fine because they're shared between normal movement, but you've got separate spikes for moving left and right on a chocobo. Because Bannon isn't supposed to be riding a chocobo, they turn into a... well, they turn into like a pixelated half mess. That's the wrong bloody... Sprite, I was supposed to press X, I pressed circle by accident, so I'm going to waste another GP and I'll meet you back at Nash, good sake. Okay, that's what I meant to do, just run forward. Okay, heading back to Nash. Like I said, it's supposed to like make a pixelated mess with a, well, it's well, half a pixelated mess, half an actual sprite, and it's like the wrong colour. Now, the reason why I'm not actually naming the sprites is because it's actually spoilers for what's coming up uh, later. Maybe in like a few parts from now. And that's pretty much why I'm not naming it. But anyway, now I'm back at Nash here. I thought I would just use that time to explain. And switch our team back to Terra because she's awesome and we haven't played as her enough in this game. Even though she is, well, not intentionally the main protagonist. That's what Dissidia calls. So if Dissidia says that Terra's the main character, then she's the main character. Shut up, game. And creators who made the game. Hey lady, didn't you just bust in here wearing Magitek armor about, like, oh I don't know, say, since the beginning of this LP? Wait a sec. Get out of here, if you don't. Whoa, he went flying. And they don't even shocked. Hold on, I'm King Edgar of Figaro, liar. And they punch him away as well. God, you could get arrested for punching a king like that. Oh, my head. That kind of attitude is deadly. He won't even listen. It's all my fault. Edgar's just like, nope, don't, not having any of that. So we can't go through the front door still because the the residents are being bitches. Of course, if you want to get a full heal, just come into the tutorial area and check the pot. I would recommend doing that instead of using potions and crap. And then we just want to head back over here. Remember that lock said, remember this for later. Well, if we check the door. When Log help first helped me, he fiddled with something right around here. Hmm. Knowing him, there's probably some secret switch in this rock wall. Hua! And the door opens for us. So we're going to make it back through the secret passage that we, that lock saved Terra through. And you don't actually have to press that button, funnily enough. Now, guess what? Random encounters again, but I don't think they're that bad. But just in case, I'm going to show this one off. Might as well. I mean, this scenario is probably going to take just one episode. Because it's that short. Uh, it's just a bunch of rare rats. Okay, but we haven't seen them for a while, so we'll just spam. Tools, auto crossbow, and a health as per usual. Can't take any chances, even though they're clearly not going to knock us out. You can't be too sure when it comes to a one-hit KO if one person dies. It's like Kingdom Hearts, but you're not the main character. Ugh, yeah, that really annoys me actually in Kingdom Hearts, because like, you, you play a Sora and Donald and Goofy are your teammates, but if they get knocked out, if you leave them for a while, they have to regenerate. Or you can just use a potion or something to cure them out of their knocked out state. There's no Phoenix Downs cure, like, has a secondary effect like that. And, um, you don't get any random encounters here, by the way, because we're out of the caves. You can actually not run on the roof, but you can walk all the way over there for some reason. There's no, there's nothing hidden even there, so I don't really get that. But yeah, in Kingdom Hearts, if you get knocked out, you, Sora, get knocked out, it's game over. Unless it's Kingdom Hearts 2 and you bomb in on, like, Mickey Mouse or something. But other than that, a little bit of spoilers, but, you know, this is a separate Let's Play. And everyone's played Kingdom Hearts 2, it's like the best in the series. Well, 
for me anyway. Some people will say birth by sleep, some people say free vote for two days, but they had their charms. Now, this room doesn't have any random encounters, but it does have encounters or if you mess up this puzzle. Walk forward, and you need to follow the light exactly. Hopefully I've got that. It's not that hard. But this helps a cutscene right after we saw the puzzle. Can they not have said that beforehand? Goodness, what's that? I think this is a security checkpoint. If we follow the light exactly, we'll probably be okay. If we make a mistake, the light will surround us. To proceed safely, we must tag the glimmering light. And we have to follow the path exactly, which is awkward as hell. Because one wrong press with the control pad can pretty much mean random encounter, and you have to do the whole room again. But yeah, I've got this, so I can now run. It's this way, and there we go, and we made it through. Are you sh I, can I don't believe this. Why do I get the feeling that the game is purposely putting random encounters right in front of doors? I'm one step away from the door again. True, I'm not heading towards it, but it's still the same distance away. God say, game. Just let me... There, that's better. I couldn't finish my sentence, but that's better. Both of those battles were two vaporites, by the way. Now, if we go down, I believe this is where I want to go. Actually, no, this is for later. You'll see why. We'll come back here later. Actually, I think it actually gives us a shortcut back. Yeah, I'll leave it for later anyway. Whatever. The enemies are so weak, all I'm doing is spamming attack. Even Bannon's attack is powerful enough to one-shot these enemies. And if you go down through the cave, like I just said, you'll appear at that door on that uh, the top left corner. You see that door? Right there, next to the lantern? That's the door. You would come back out from there. But, enough about that. Because once a certain event happens, we'll actually have to go in that direction. It's optional at any point in the game, but the earliest point that you can actually do stuff up there is actually after a certain point, which is coming up pretty soon. Probably in the next episode. So many pointless random encounters. They could have at least made the monsters a little bit more powerful for a bit of challenge and experience. Seriously, they're not giving us a lot of experience considering that the other two, well, the other two scenarios don't really give you a lot of experience anyway, but hey, look what we're doing right here. We're going around the back, and just like in episode two, we're back exactly where we met Terror in the first place. Oh yeah. And I believe, nope, you can't sleep in that bed. Go down. And we've made it. That's actually the whole of Terror scenario right there. Not even 20 minutes long with uncut footage. I'm up to 19 minutes. Bannon, King Edgar, and Terror. I can't remember the voice I gave you. So many characters in this game. It's ridiculous. Orvis, what's happening here in Narsh? The town's neutral. I've tried to get the people to side with the returners, but anyway, what on earth have you come here? First, how are your people doing? They all went slightly berserk when the Esper was discovered. We believe this young woman is our only hope of reaching out to that Esper. My people are dying to know what the Esper looks like. Maybe Terra can help restore some order to our town! Actually, well, they're, she's the one that they're after. So that's not exactly the smartest choice. That Esper is either going to save us, eat us, or hump us. I had to use the art, the Red Wolf quote. But anyway, that's the end of all three scenarios! Once you beat all three scenarios, this cutscene ensues. The three have reached Norrish, and a decisive battle is about to take place. I like how they had to have one extra text box for that one word. What a waste of code. <laughs> and now we're in the mayor's office of Narsh, which we haven't been to before, actually. I understand all of it, except how can we be encouraging bloodshed? I never said that. Something like it. Ha! He's right, you know. Bannon, our blood will spill because of you. Emperor Gasol is racing to acquire magic power. He set his sights on the Esper that was found here. The increased use of magic power will surely lead to global destruction. That is threatening. The War of the Magi. The mythical battle that set mankind back a thousand years. 
Can this really be happening? People will never... I missed a couple of text boxes there, bloody dazzle. It wasn't a musical lag or graphical lag, it's just that my image froze. I don't think I came out on recording though. Sorry about that. But yes, Saban just walks in with his motley crew. Saban, you're right! And who's with you? I'm Sain, retainer of King Doma! Go, go! The people of Doma were wiped out by the Empire. Kevka poisoned everyone. Barbaric. Elder. But that was only because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. If we make that mistake... That's nonsense! And here comes Locke. Everyone's converging with Celez. But we all know that Celez was originally a general of the Empire, so she may not get a good welcome here. Locke! The Empire's poised to attack Nosh right now! What? Locke, did you hear that? Celez here was one of Empire the Empire's generals. I knew she seemed familiar! So go, get out of my way! Wow! Sign! Child abuse? This is General Celez! She torched Miranda! She's an Imperial spy! Now stand aside! Wait! Celez has joined the Returners! She's fighting with us now! But I promise I'd protect her. I will not go back on my word. Locke, are you still thinking about that? I was also an Imperial soldier. What? Most unorthodox! The Empire's evil. But not all of its citizens are. Oh, this is... Emergency! The Empire cometh! Ooh! Everyone's shocked. I don't care what you do here, just give me that Esper. Lord Kafka, there's civilians here. Exterminate everyone! What a monster. But Norris is neutral. Idiot! Read my lips. Dispose of any who oppose this. March! <laughs> Look at him, do the jig. He's crazy, but in a bad way. Not good news. Especially when they're actually approaching Nosh right now. And we're still standing in this room. We really have no choice. Let's make ready for war. Let's make ready for war! They're after the Esper. We've moved it to the hills. Then we're going up after it. Everyone nods in unison. Like choreography dancing without the dancing. And we're marching into battle! Locke has a complicated past. I wouldn't go thinking he's fallen for you or something. I'm a soldier, not some love starved twit. Cold as ice. Yeah, apparently Celeste is getting bashed on the way up to the fated battle. This is like a chance for her to prove herself. And they're testing her. So, you were born with the power of magic? Isn't it a lovely gift? You can use magic too? When I was a baby, I was artificially infused with magic, and I raised as magic at night. Have you... loved anyone? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> yep. Terror's all innocent as per usual. Don't think for a moment I trust you. Fine. Use your own eyes, then decide. And yet, he doesn't say that to Terror. Bizarre. But that's because we're protecting Terror. And guess what? Before we even get to our, into this fated battle, we get to, well, have a quick rest stop. We've got a save point in the corner there, and if you talk to a character, you'll automatically switch. Which is kind of weird, because you can quickly tell that you have two characters pretty weird but yeah and uh, once you talk to Bannon you're gonna in you're gonna actually um, well activate the battle but you have to keep switching characters just so you can equip them all which is kind of annoying but it's got to be done 
So, I think this is actually a good point to end it. In the next episode, we will battle against Kefka. See you guys next time.